Hello beautiful people, welcome to Fit Blog GH. This is your guy Kofi Smaga. Um, so a few days ago, Chelsea owner, who I call Abrante Roman Abramovich, tried to put Chelsea up for sale. Yeah. So let's check out some football fans' reaction on this move by Abramovich. It's a sad day for most Chelsea fans um, uh, when we heard the statement that the club was up for sale. Um, it was heartbreaking, but uh, we all saw this coming. We know what is happening right now, the Ukraine-Russia war. It's so heartbreaking to see that statement. Um, we know Roma, what he has done for this club, the success he has chucked so far and nobody can take it away from him over the recent um, past decade Chelsea is one of the most successful European football club in the world right now and um, we can't write Chelsea's history without Roma and Roma has done so much for this club and it's heartbreaking I uh, say Roma is that invisible player in Chelsea that carries Chelsea just like other clubs, you have Lewandowski carried by Monique, you have the likes of Messi carry their team. Chelsea is a team that we don't have an individual player that does that, but Roma, he does that. He gives the club, the club whatever we want. He has backed us, he has showed up, he has demonstrated that he's committed to the interests of this club over the years, and it's heartbreaking to see we have to part with um nonetheless we are chelsea we'll move on and the standards has been set and we all know chelsea fans we don't settle for less so whoever is coming in as a new owner should know that the bar has been set um we expect nothing but the best and we don't want to be like other clubs that are from high to low the likes of my you and oh and the rest you know those middle class teams right now so <clears throat> whoever takes up the club we want to push the person all the best we want to see chelsea continue winning and winning and proving to all these european clubs that we are the best in europe hi so with what's going on with chelsea right now um chelsea being for sale and all that I think basically uh, it's actually a tough, a tough, um, tough call in a way. But I think that's the right approach right now, because uh, looking at it, um, Abramovich being a Russian and by birth and all that, and he having let me say uh, a relationship with Putin and all that affecting his business with the UK, he, it is the right approach. He needs to actually sell Chelsea and then uh, so that Chelsea can keep on going on. Because without that, the fact is Chelsea has got a whole lot of rivals and all that. And then they don't care if you actually sink and because we are actually the top of the top right now um we're champions in a way so looking at it i think um abamovich had the chelsea at heart he actually naturally like his baby he wasn't in for the proceeds he wasn't in for the money but he was just investing investing like he did um, i just hope you get a new owner who is also going to put chelsea at, at hand just like abamovich did so as a liverpool supporter now this whole abramovich and chelsea issue to me it is just one of the saddest moments in modern football because looking at Abramovich, for instance, he's one owner who really understands the game and really has the Chelsea club and the whole Chelsea supporters at, at, at heart. And so this whole thing happening at this moment and this whole selling of Chelsea, I feel it is really going to have an impact on the Chelsea team and even on the supporters at large. It is not even something good for the EPL itself because if you really they love football when you really they really 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 they love EPL this thing will not happen but um I don't think he has to like come to he, he doesn't even um have to announce that he wants to sell the club because of the war going on between Ukraine and Russia fine business is business and friendship is friendship but if the Russian and uh Ukraine war is not affecting Chelsea Football Club. There is no need for you to sell it. That's my opinion. Being a United fan and knowing how 
change of ownership can be. We just hope that uh, Chelsea's own will be for the better meant for the club. And it wouldn't be like other clubs who went down the drain after a change of ownership. Roman Abramovich's success with Chelsea has been so enormous. I happened to chance on the statement immediately it was released. I must admit that it was heartbreaking. Wasn't expecting it, but we move as a club. Going forward, I really hope that the new owners will emulate the leadership style of Roman Abramovich so that Chelsea will continue to be a great club. As a fan, um, I've always known one owner um, as a Das Abramovich. Um, he has always been the one that I've known and ever since I started supporting the team since 2005. Um, so it's a bit strange hearing the news that he's going to sell the club. But as we all know, nothing lasts forever. Uh, eventually, it will happen one way or another. But it's a sad day. But I'm also excited um, by the news too because the future is uncertain. We don't know who is going to come and buy the, the club. We don't know if it's going to be somebody who is richer than Abramovich. Maybe this Arab uh, Arab uh, prince and this rich people from Arab. So let's wait and see. Um, let's hope for the best. And I hope um, this is going to be a, an, an exciting future. But that's all we can hope for, an exciting future. But one thing is for sure, whether Abramovich, whether an American owner, whether an Arab owner, Chelsea for life and Chelsea forever. Nothing will change for that. Yeah, I've been United fan. And my name is Gogo Party. That is how everybody knows me. So, of course, um, the issue about the buying movie and about selling the club is, is really a bad um, um, plan. Actually, since I started watching football, this guy is the only football owner that. Me and the I say it really, it really will happen. It get all in properties for managing Chelsea. Chelsea used to be a very small club. Nobody used to talk about them. But I did. It's one of the big clubs among the big clubs. Actually, I only like that thing. But I will, I will be very mad at whatever is happening to him if I were to be in his shoes. You know, somebody. Somebody's relationship should not affect this man's property from, I mean, from losing his property. He's having a good relationship with Putin that does not make him a bad person. I don't know what they have seen and the reason why they are robbing off all Russians from owning properties. Looking at who is going to buy the club, we United fans are suffering from um, bad leaders. Um, this Woodward, who is already off, and the Glaser family, they don't release money to manage the club properly, and it's causing us a lot of problems to today. So if Chelsea don't get a good owner, it's going to affect the club, and they will go back to where they used to be. All right. So my take on. Uh Hearing the news about uh, Roman Abramovich trying to put up Chelsea for sale just broke my heart, you know. Uh, growing up as a Chelsea fan, I've just known one man, one owner, which is Roman Abramovich. Uh, he's so passionate about Chelsea. Uh, the love for Chelsea is so great, you know. And then it's so, it's so, it's so uh, heartbreaking to hear he's actually being forced to sell it. It's actually not his will. I mean, he's being forced to sell it. I mean, and I think it's not just right. It's not just appropriate to do that. I mean, he doesn't force someone to sell his or her property, you know. But you know, uh, I think it's it's actually terrifying to to, to hear about the 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 seller. As a Chelsea fan, this news saddens my heart. Abramovich is not about money. Abramovich is about love and passion for Chelsea. And, and as a Chelsea fan, I'm not sure any investor will, will come having that love and passion for, for, for the team. No, 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 no. I'm not sure. And, and that is what we will miss as, as Chelsea fans, the love and passion that Abramovich showed to us. Yeah, that's what we will miss. Uh, there is this room also circulating that 
players which receive some of salary will be asked for a pay cut and 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 in a in a way this is going to affect their performance too and and it's going to affect chelsea as abramovich is leaving if only what what i'm hearing is is true yeah it's a very 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 bad idea for the team the players and the supporters the, the sports fan we know him as a very good man who is investing good in a team and now things are actually happening this way well um first i got to say it'd be bad move because um although we don't say the circumstances surrounding right now abramovich don't really get it there might be good business moves because he'd be businessman and then two i believe it will really worry the club because um, psychologically, the players all go really mess up in a way, and then the the way supporters will put pressure on the new owners, just like what happened to Blazer and then Newcastle like this. So I believe he not really get the option, but then that be the only thing he gets right now. Okay, so for the love, we all enjoy watching the Premier League, and then as a Liverpool fan, from my view. Um, the sale of um, um, Chelsea Football Club is it's really sad. It's, it has gotten to so many fans of the EPO and then so many fans um, for the game. It's, it's, it's very, to me, it's, very, it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very difficult and then uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But, I think, uh, in my view, I think Abramovich is just putting it on sale. Should in case if the English FA or the, uh, the English FA tries to take the team from from him, you understand? Uh, that's what I think. That's what I think. So he's just putting it on sale for for it to for it to for them to know that he's trying to sell the club, but. It's going to be difficult for for an, indi an individual to get that kind of money or to release that money to buy that club. Very sad for my Chelsea fans too. My Chelsea, my Chelsea fans, my colleagues, so that we can be able to throw them a little. But it's unfortunate that this is happening at this time. And then it's football. It's football. So. Uh, anything can happen but it's sad how the club is uh, going to to have a new new if it is possible to going to have a new uh, ownership hi guys my name is martino and i'm about to talk about chelsea football club yes as a football fan as i heard the news for the very first time i was happy because I don't like Chelsea, but I'm sad about it because maybe the new owners will not have the passion that Abramovich used to have for the club. You understand? So I'm very sad that he's about to sell the club. Thanks. Bye. As the they sell Chelsea football club, there we Chelsea fans we make sad war. but at the same time, no one arrivals they make happy. It'd it be very bad news to us. Was the kind of fashion we Abramovich get for Chelsea, you know? We know they believe say we go get somebody else where he go feed do that thing. The way they invest in the team, pan where we are with the fill you know? I know they believe say that people go feed do that, but we go, we need to see. We are very sad, but it has to be done. Cause if you don't do am I they go feed sees the assets all. So we need to see. Maybe the one way go come, you no? Know? He go feed take us to another level. Or below the level, but we live to see. Maybe it can help. Maybe it may not help. So now your comments are welcome, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.